They did it. The Scarlet Knights have made history. Rutgers football captured their first ever Big Ten Conference win over the Michigan Wolverines in a hard fought 26 24 battle. We caught up with some of the players after the game. It's, it's a great feeling. You know, it's a great feeling to know that everybody did exactly what they were supposed to do. Everybody gave it all they had. And at the end of the day, you can't really ask for much more than that. You know, Michigan's a good team, and uh, good teams are going to make plays, but, you know, we were, we were able to come out on top today. I played basketball before, and then I did triple jump in, um, in high school. But I just kind of use I just kind of use a technique I, um, I've been taught to do in practice and stuff. So, and what I know is just, I don't know, I kind of keep count on the kicker how he took his steps and then tried to jump and measure it out. And that's how I got the kick. It was a really great play call. Uh, they had a lot of guys up in the box trying to stop the run. So uh, we hit him with a play action and uh, Trezelli had a great route, offensive line, great protection and uh, just had to put it out there for him. It was crazy, honestly. The fans, the fans won us that game. They were loud. They were loud every third down. Uh, they brought so much energy and juice to the game. It was just such an exciting game to be at. Again, we had another play action. Um, Leontay was the primary guy. Uh, they took the safety over there to, uh, over the top of him and uh, just came back to Giselli. Uh, he actually made a great catch. It was a low ball. He went down and got it. Uh, I was in the slot on that play around like the seven yard line. I had an in, in cut. I was just making sure I was getting into the end zone. And I got open initially. Guy was under pressure. He was able to escape and he made a great throw to me. I mean, it was great. The fans were going crazy the whole game. That's what it's all about. And it was great to be a part of it and get our first Big Ten win. The reason why I came here, that's the only thing I could think about is, you know, the reason why I decided to stay home. Most guys on the team had offers everywhere. They could have went anywhere in the country. But, you know, moments like this, is I'm happy to be, you know, from New Jersey, I'm happy to be a local guy to stay home to get a win like this. It was crazy. Every blackout game we have so far has been a, a crazy, crazy atmosphere. And uh, Flames have done a great job coming out and supporting us. So it was nice seeing the stands fill. It's awesome. The feeling is awesome. And then celebration was awesome afterwards. You know, uh, it was so great. I still still can't describe my emotions right now. Um, honestly, it was amazing. It was, it was pretty, it was incredible. The fans were amazing. They were loud, roaring. Um, the atmosphere was everything we wanted. It was everything we dreamt of. Uh, it was just electric. Um, you know, from beginning to end, it was electric. Uh, and for them to storm the field the way they did was pretty cool. The Scarlet Knights head into their bye week in impressive 5-1. and one. They will face off with the Ohio State Buckeyes on October 18th in Columbus. From the Rutgers locker room, I'm Taryn Hatcher.